But as far as Thunder and, and WCW is concerned, it is interesting that it's one of the things where it's like, did you guys even want to do Thunder? Because I hear all this stuff from Bischoff for years. He always is like, well, I, I didn't like the idea. I didn't want to do Thunder. Do you have that same kind of mindset or no? Absolutely. And I, I agree with Eric. That was one of the big chips that was a huge mistake. We had three hours on Monday. Then we came back with two more. Five hours of wrestling was too much. And the other thing is we talked off camera. They had talked about bringing in more guys and making it completely different. We would have a Hogan come. We, the idea was Hogan would come occasionally for an interview or maybe a match, very rarely in Sting and the NWO, but it, that didn't come to fruition. And I think it was because the North Tower didn't understand wrestling. I mean, overexposure. I'm sure Eric didn't get the money for the crew because the North Tower not knowing about wrestling. Well, if it works on Monday night, it will work on Thursday night. So I'm sure if you've heard Eric say that, I agreed with him 100%. How much, you know, how much can you, hey, you, you like steak, but you don't want to see it for five hours. Eat it for five hours. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess the, the story goes at that point in time, too, like you said about the production people, Time Warner wasn't really hiring additional production people. So you're going to have the people you were working with, Nitro, I mean, they're going to be working a lot more. I mean, you're not going to be able to get additional production people, which kind of kills the current production people that you have because, oh, by the way, you have to do another show and, and it's in another night. And, you know, it's, it's a lot more, um, I guess you could say a lot more trouble or a lot more burden on that production crew too. So, I mean, that, that stinks for, for them. And overexposure, like you said, is one of the things where people just get tired of, of certain characters and it even dilutes the storyline. It dilutes the characters. It's almost like uh, less is more, but then you add another show and it's just throwing more out there and you can't do less is more when you do that. And you know what else everybody forgets about that? We had 6.05 Saturday night, two hours. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, And then we had a morning show for a while. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, WW Pro. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you, I mean, you, had you had Worldwide, you had Pro. You even had a syndicated show called Prime at one point. I, I think Prime was, wasn't Prime basically the one out of uh, Disney? Yes, a lot of that, a lot of it was filmed. And it was funny. I remember like Chris Cruz and Dusty would be there. They would just, you know, they would be doing stand ups. And one time, Dusty uh, showed that Chris Cruz was wearing sh uh, shorts. Right. I was like, look at this. He's wearing shorts here. Because, you know, they never see below his waist. So, right, right. Uh, just a funny little show there. But with Thunder, it's like, okay, WWE is so hot. It almost feels like the people at the high tower Tur turner's executives are like oh well, let's give tbs a show because tnt is such a hot show wrestling is so hot right now and it kind of kills and dilutes the market yeah you know i think there was some in i'm not gonna say infighting but inside competition between tbs and tnt because T tnt was getting grabbing all those numbers right mm -hmm. yep and uh this was a sidebar. I can remember going up to the office. Our office was on the 13th floor. And I had cowboy boots on and jeans and a dress shirt. And when I pressed 13, these guys said, oh, you're in the work, work for the wrestling company? I said, yeah. He said, what are you doing there? I said, keep your guys' jobs. <laughs> nice yeah yeah you guys were obviously the top rating getters uh, for them for sure by Killing. far by far yeah so they want obviously uh thunder because nitro's success they see that they're giving tbs some love there but the only thing is they're saying production costs for thunder could be between 12 million and 15 million per year uh so i mean that that's a, a bit of a hike i mean this is at 98 so obviously it would be way more now but if you look at it it's like okay who's paying for that 
you guys didn't want to pay for that, obviously. You know what I mean? So, I mean, so there's a, a cost incurred here, too, that kind of is going to hamper WCW big time. Yeah. And the, and the other cost is flights, hotels, cars. Some of the guys, and it wasn't just a few, there were a lot of guys that had first class tickets. And then when uh, AOL took over, they had, you know, uh, standards and practices in the dressing room, right? Yep. So I would book the TVs like Janie was our secretary. And we had an in-house travel agency. And I'm, I know for a fact they were getting discounts on the tickets. But still, if you're flying a guy first class and he's got a car, and he's got a hotel room. I would try to watch the expenses. So guys that I knew that were going to be on the TV, uh, even if it was going to be six weeks out, I could take them off before they issued the ticket, right? But I'd say, get the tickets early. These guys are going to be there. Well, I come in one night, and the standard practice guy says, uh, you need to bring all the talent to these TVs. So I have like, I can remember the Steiners particularly, they flew, they weren't on the show that week because they had just got back from Japan. They flew on a first class ticket, had a hotel room paid for and a rental car. They would come in a cab, walk in and say, we on the show? No, can we go home? Sure. They would turn around, get the ticket changed, and go home. I'd send 20 guys home. Oh, my God. Wow. That's costly. Yeah. 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 And a bit of a waste, too, for a lot of the talent. Yeah. And they just want to make sure that if somebody didn't show up, they were going to make sure they weren't without... Uh, without there that I could put somebody in there instead, right? Well, right. you know, if I had the Steiners not booked, what were they doing there? And they didn't seem to care. JP was like, everybody's up for Nitro. And I mean, Monday night, and I know people are going to say, well, that's what they're getting paid for. There was an energy lacking in Thunder when you walked into the building. It was like, oh, we're going to do this again. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And it made it a lot harder. And I think that uh, hustled the demise of WCW. And if you remember the commercials and stuff that you guys had, Hogan was on the, a lot of, I know the Giant was too, but Hogan was on a lot of the commercials. So it kind of signifies, oh, Hogan must be on Thunder because he's like, I'm going to bring the Thunder brother and stuff like that. So it's got to mean that Hogan's got to be on the show. He's on the old commercials. So that's what right. I think too. It's like, can we not have Hogan on the show? I mean, it's kind of risque. And, and the other thing was they had to pay Hogan separately for Thunder. Really? Why is that? Because in his contract, there was only Nitro. Wow, he never, so they had to pony up some more money for the Hulkster. Yeah. You know, and he didn't, uh, I don't think he ever worked the Saturday night, except when he came in, right? Mm-hmm. Once, Very rarely, yep. You know, once Thunder, I mean, once Nitro started, I don't ever remember. A, no, probably, I don't remember either. Nope. No. So now you have to come up with a substantial amount of money for Hogan. Now, I knew Hogan got that, but maybe the other guys did too, some of the other guys. Like National Hall had that favorite nation contract. Yes. Yep. So what, what initially, though, like what did you think? Did you think the show was going to do well at first and then taper no, out? Because, no, or no? I just knew you couldn't. And then when. You go in there, like I said, you could feel the energy down. There wasn't anybody uh, not wanting to do it. It was like 
you know, I know it's not, it's scripted, but guys are flying and they're working house shows. And then Thursday, you got to get up for that, you know, after you've been the sky high for Nitro. It's like, there was just an energy lacking. I don't know if that makes sense to our friends out there listening, but does it make sense to you that you could, it would be like playing a, a Sunday night game and then playing a Thursday night game of football now. 